Todd Grant of the University of South Florida has served as the Communication and Community Affairs Coordinator for the Hillsborough County Supervisor of Elections since November 2005. Holly has created, implemented, and promoted and managed voter education and training programs throughout Hillsborough County. This is while not running. She was doing the hard work, the heavy lifting, to encourage voter participation, enjoys staying active in her community with things like being a big sister, the Miss Tampa Scholarship pageant, a board member of Emerge Tampa Bay, or she's a member of that, and Super Bowl 2009 host committee volunteer and a graduate of the USF Service Learning Leadership Academy and an Italian Idol judge, Brooke Cunningham II. Brooke is the marketing manager and talent scout for Tampa-based Barbizon Modeling and Acting Center, JMT Agency. He's been with Barbizon over eight years. He's an actor and model, also conducted training classes in modeling and acting, and engaged to Julie Hedges, planning to get spliced in July in New York. The uh, Tampa-based Barbizon is the largest Barbizon agency in the world and has a world-class client list that includes Seventeen Magazine, NBC, Coca-Cola, Ford, Dillard's, and many others. Paul Guzzo. Paul has been a writer in the Tampa Bay area for the past decade and certainly has written some of my favorite columns and published hundreds of articles, particularly, and this is what I love, on Tampa's history, recently wrote and produced the award-winning documentary on Ebor, Ebor's first gangster, Charlie Wall. How many people were part of that? Well, we'll save that story for another day. <laughs> Go Joe Lala. And we've got Joe Lala. We've got plenty of things to say about Joe. This guy's been around. Graduated from Jefferson High, got a barber's, I didn't know this, got a barber's license in case his musical career didn't pan out. He and, and Perry Como, huh? Played drums uh, with Blues Image. Went on to play with Stephen Stills, the Eagles, the Bee Gees, and many more. He's accumulated 32 gold and 28 platinum records. He then went into acting, and a few of his many roles in movies were born in East L.A and out for justice, and he's had roles in television on Miami Vice and General Hospital, just to name a few. And if he's not busy, he'll cut your hair as well. Joe Lala. He's also distant related to the notorious Ted Webb. And Johnny G. Lyon. Johnny started in L.A. with his own band and they opened shows for the top groups like Los Lobos and Marshall Crenshaw. He's written and recorded music for major motion pictures, Hard Bodies, and Just One of the Guys, to name a few. He returned to Tampa and started the Johnny G. Line Band, better known as JGLB. They've been on the cover of Friday Extra, received the Best Local Band Award for three years in a row, and Johnny is branching out and now the owner of the Proud Lion Restaurant in Tampa. Johnny G. Lion. We're now ready to begin our competition. And our next contestant in the K through 5 group from Citrus Park Elementary performing three wooden crosses. Welcome Lauren Foster. <laughs> Higher 
I said, wait a minute, the judges have to comment first. So she sat back down. Then what happened? They started the music and some, some strange voice comes out. And then she has to start over again. And she maintained her poise and overcame adversity. Then in the middle of her in the middle of her song, this guy over here starts rattling all that stuff back there. She didn't notice that either. Just a tremendous over sort of performance and you didn't get distracted and you didn't let all the ups and downs before you even got up just to get started, get slow you down, and I'm a big admirer of that. So, very good, very great job, thank you. Lauren, I definitely agree. You uh, went through all your adversity. Um, I know the song's pretty serious, but you need to loosen up a little bit, smile, okay, because you got a beautiful smile over there, but you do have an adult voice for such a young age. You really know how to use your voice for your age. Um, great voice and you, uh, you got great up and downs in the music, which is what I enjoy. You know how to go up and down. So that's very good and uh, I enjoyed your performance. Great job. I am so impressed with what a mature performer you are between your voice, sing, such a big voice and big song and being able to get over the little oopses that happen in a performance. I mean, all of you, uh, especially the young ones, such young, fantastic performers. Great job, Lauren. I really enjoyed it. Like my other uh, fellow judges have said, despite all the adversity, you came out there like a pro and did it. Keep doing what you're doing, girl, and you are Nashville bound. I, uh, I, I can't even begin to tell you how jealous I am of your talent. It's unbelievable. You were awesome yesterday. You were awesome today. Just great job. All right. That's Lauren Foster. Nashville bound. Not today, though. You're going to wait. So we finish. K through five, our second place finisher and winner of a $100 is Lauren Foster, and our winner is Lucy M. Holmes. So I basically got to see the show.